Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I feel like it's been a while since I filmed. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm getting over a cold. I am sick once again, and unfortunately I'm not the only person sick. My husband also caught the flu after he got back from vacation, and my dog was really sick. Um, and just yesterday we brought him back from the ICU. He was in the ER for a couple of days. Um, we don't know what happened. They think it's a gastroenteritis, um, which is just a um, stomach issue um, that's caused by bacteria, um, virus, parasite. They don't know. He is on the mend. He hasn't been eating for like a day and a half, two days, and he had a high fever, 105, and I mean, it was just scary. He had diarrhea, he had, you know, blood in his poop, and it was it was kind of scary for us and um, I'm glad he is feeling better he's wanting to eat he's still not a hundred percent I can show you him really quick there he is there's a little guy are you feeling better he's been really tired of late um, and he just kind of wants to sleep he's he still gets excited when we come home, but it's, you know, it's short. Um, and yeah, he just seems really exhausted. I, I would be too if I were, you know, in the emergency room in the intensive care unit for a day. Um, but we're glad he's finally eating again because that would mean he is feeling better. Um, okay, that aside, um, I am here to review a bag and that's just an update. Um, it's been quite <clears throat> quite a week for us, so it's kind of on the top of my mind, but I'm glad it's finally ending, and I think everything is starting to kind of be on the mend, including my cold. Um, hopefully it's not too difficult to understand or hear me, um, because, <clears throat> yeah, earlier this week I just couldn't do it with everything going on. Okay, so today I'm here to talk about um, one of my newest purchase, um, and that is the Dior Diorama. Um, I showed it in a previous video. It's one of the items that I bought in Hong Kong. If you want to see that, um, I'll try to link it below so that you can watch it. Um, but basically, it is this beauty right here. Um, I got it, the Diorama, in the size small. It comes in small and um, um, small and medium. And um, this one is in the white color. It's a special edition, limited edition. In it's for the f spring of 2018. So um, you do, you might still be able to get in stores. I got it back in Dece at the end of December, but they might still have some in stores. So yeah. Um, so it looks like this. It's kind of got a sheen to it because it's supposed to be somewhat metallic. The finish um, is more glossy than their. Um, um, I think it's just like lambskin leather and I actually prefer that because um, I was mentioning in my previous videos that it'll help with the corner wears and just overall wear and tear and the fact that I got this in a white color um, it's very helpful to have something that doesn't just absorb everything it touches so as you can see in the back I've used it like a few times now um, it looks it looks really good still I don't see anywhere Okay, so this bag does have kind of, I, I would almost say it's silver, but it does look like a little gold, so it's like a champagne color, um, and it has a adjustable leather part at the very end, um, but you can also move it so that it becomes a double strapped, um, so that you can wear on your shoulder, like so. Um, this bag itself is not too heavy and the chains really help in that because unlike some of the other brand chains, some of these ones are hollow. Um, so you can kind of see it right there. Some of them are not hollow, like right there, um, but it alternates a little bit. So it, it does make it lighter, but it doesn't feel cheap at all. So that's really good. So there we are again, the front. Um, I can show you what I have been putting in it. Um, so let me just show you what it looks like now. Right now there's a slip pocket in the back, which I just actually keep the care card and everything. 
And then there's also, I keep the felt on the bottom just so that it doesn't get scratched. And then there's a uh, slip pocket right there. Um, so yeah, I'll just show you kind of what I put in there. Of course I have my phone. Because I don't have the medium size, I have the small size one, the phone doesn't actually fit into this front flap. But that's okay. Um, um, I don't really need to, I just slip it right there. Front. And then um, I usually have some sort of chapstick. This one is by the uh, Glossier. So that goes right there. And then I usually have like a um, baggie or some sort so that um, um, if I go grocery shopping or something, I have an extra baggie. And then I have a card case. This is um, Coach um, or, or I have some other ones, but this one's nice because it's all leather and um, it has two slip pockets right here and then a big pocket in the back. As, a, as well as one right here and it's a um, snap closure right there so that one also slips in right here um, and that's usually what I have I probably have my car keys as well but let me just show you really quick what it looks like Ooh, let me show you this way um, so this is what I have Oops. so there's still plenty of space as you can see Oops. Sorry, this keeps slipping out. So let me just maybe show it to you this way. There we go. Um, so my phone's right there, the card case, the baggie, but there's still like a ton of space. Like I could fit more stuff in it. Um, so, and I don't usually put this in there, but I also have a, a Louis Vuitton Agenda PM um, and that I can slip back here. So it goes right there. You can see it popping out right there. Um, so if you were to close it um, like that, it'll close quite well. You can see the sides like this. And then um, the bottom like this. But yeah, so it looks okay. Um, and oh just just like you can see from the side here um it goes inwards see it goes inwards and the bottom kind of goes upwards a little bit so even though the bag is of this size frame you that's why the um the agenda doesn't go all the way down but regardless of whether the agenda is there or not the bag closes just fine and yeah it looks like that and it's not too heavy like I said it's um actually quite manageable and um yeah so i've been wearing it like so and i found it really easy um, um going in and out of my car that's one of the things that i remember being very annoyed about because um um when you have it on your shoulder and you want to put it down onto your seat this just swings everywhere but if this was on my shoulder i'm holding it all I need to do is pick this up a little bit and then swing it in and then it's shortened when it swings and it's way more controlled. So you'll know what I mean if you have a car and you, you need to do that. And yeah, long, um, long crossbody bags without like a top handle has that issue for me. Um, I haven't really noticed myself carrying it one way or another. I know that I like carrying it on my shoulder if I want it, it to not hit things because it is such a light color. Um, and the fact that um, I also don't want to damage the corners, I, I do that. But if I'm just out somewhere um, and I want hands-free, um, be secure, I'd probably wear a crossbody. So yeah, very, very nice. And like I said, I still have plenty of space. And this is a size small, so um, I feel like you can, you can fit a ton in the medium as well. I didn't end up going for the medium just because um, it is... A little bit on um, the bigger side for me I'm 5'1 and um, I think it looked a little bit too ridiculous to be um, on my frame I, no matter how I wore it so um, it was also a little too long um, so I'm just gonna put everything back in and show you with my um, sunglasses 
So it doesn't really fit a sunglass case as you can see because it's not wide enough to do that. But if I take these sunglasses and pop them, and I have done this, like right on top, like there, you can still close it very easily. And um, actually, one second. <clears throat> Just gonna move things around so I have some space. Um, so yeah, if I if I just pop that right there, you can close the bag still very easily, and then it doesn't it doesn't bulge, as you can see. So yeah, um, I wouldn't do that long term though because it will scratch your glasses. But if you're wearing them and you just want it to take it off because you're indoors then you can easily do that um, and put it in here but yeah so anyway that's all I have to say about this um, I, like I said I have I mean I have used it a few times now but I haven't used it that long so I can't really show you wear and tear um, but so far like I said the time that I have used it I haven't noticed any wear or tear um, I think um, if you if I were to use it longer and I, I I'll probably be able to give a better update um, as to whether the white color was a mistake or if like this bag which I've seen in resale um, items that uh, the corners start to wear out a little bit um, like I said so far I haven't but I also haven't put it onto the ground either so it's been um, okay I'll leave the dimensions below if you're interested um, and yeah like I said it should still be available in stores if not they have plenty of other colors um, so give it a look um, I highly recommend this one so um, hopefully you found that helpful and um, I'll see you guys in my next video bye